Hi everyone, this is your girl Texas Black Diamond and thank you for tuning in to Texas Black Diamond Entertainment. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today we will be talking about Latresha Scaff, okay, um, from Baltimore. And sometimes we have to open our eyes and connect the dots here because we have a lot of people that's connected to Baltimore, okay. She's trying to sue Robert and I will let you know why I think that she decided to join forces with everybody else to get a bag, okay? Continue, let's continue. Attorney's office to jails, but Baltimore still has one of the highest crime rates in the country. That's why Fox 45 is launching Operation Crime and Justice, a long-term investigation that goes beyond the news of the day to uncover why public safety continues to be threatened year after year. Crime and Justice lead investigative reporter Joy Lapola shows us the human toll crime takes on the city. Joy? Hi, and Jennifer. There are a lot of statistics that are used to describe crime in Baltimore, but every crime, every criminal, and every victim leaves a mark on dozens of people across the city. And for many people, violence and its effects go back generations. Family here along Bonaparte Avenue in East Baltimore. It may not have been sweet, but it was home. They've seen people get beat up real bad. You know, like I said, um, bodies. They hear gunshots. They couldn't go outside and play. Her oldest son, Amani, grew up here. It was like, you know, like things like, Ma, if you don't get us out this city, I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. Maybe like three of his close friends to gun violence. So that's what I got nervous about him coming back to Baltimore. Latresa moved out of the city and into the county in hopes of providing a safer life for her family. Well, he didn't like it out here. He said it was nothing to do. Or his brother was shot and killed in Baltimore in 2003. Her father murdered in 1981. I don't even know what to do at this point in time. It's, it's too much. Something has to be done. Of these murders. Baltimore has lost more than a thousand people over the past three years to murder. Latrice has lost three, but there's one new number, Amani's son. I'm coming forward now because I feel this is the right thing to do. Yes, it's the right thing to do. The right thing to do. I am going to join everybody that I know that got in my ear and said, if you want to get your ass out of Baltimore, out of Compton City, out of Iraq, out of Northside, to get the hell away from there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join the clan. I, I went to the concert, but I took a picture with LL Cool J, but I'm going to say that I was with R. Kelly. I don't have no picture of R. Kelly, but I'm going to show them a picture of LL Cool J. Because I need to get my ass out of here. I need to get out of Baltimore. Because I done had multiple people in my family to die in Compton. Okay? So I'm going to do like everybody else. Yes, I waited till 2018. Yes, I was high and I was drunk. Yes, my, my memory was great. I'm 42 years old. I was 40 when I reported it, but I was high and I was drunk and I had a great memory of, of how it went down in the room that night. And I find it funny. And God rest your family soul. God rest their soul. They, they died a tragic way, but it's not the way to try to get the hell out of Baltimore. Off somebody else's dime and, and lied. So, I also want to say this. What, what kind of character are you? Okay? Assault in the second degree, allegedly. We will say alleged. A deadly weapon. Injury. Who did you hurt? Another assault in the second degree. You was a very, they say Baltimore people is very, very, very violent. Okay? Theft. Okay, 1998, stealing. 1997, assault. You was fighting your ass off, okay? Theft, again. 1996, disorderly conduct in the public. 1996. 
So what what kind of character are you? Driving with suspended license, so you 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 will break the law under any mean necessary. Oh my God, you was body body two thousand and five deadly weapon injuries, deadly weapons. Okay, mm hmm. Okay, two thousand more charges. Two thousand and ten more charges. Assault. You love assaulting people. Nineteen ninety nine theft. Driving suspended license again. Two twenty eighteen. You ain't got your license yet. What is going on? Theft again. Deadly weapon again. Two thousand and five assault. Two thousand assault again. Twenty ten. Theft again. So I am going to get out of here. Under any mean necessary, and I see everybody else and see this Me Too movement make it very easy. All you got to do is come up with a damn picture with Gloria All Lies, and she will happily write the statement for you and make you practice it so you can get it right. And she is going to make it sound like it is real as hell. But I think she should have did a little more work with you because it just looked like I need to figure out how to hell to say this in a convincing way and read this that Gloria all lies and all give me all my money. And I'm just going to try, but I'm going to keep trying. Look at me. I'm going to try. And I'm going to just allow. She's going to look at me like this, you guys. She's going to give you that look. She's going to give you that mean dog stare. And at the end, when you get through line, she's going to be like, hug me. And I'm going to say, thank you for giving me my damn money. Because I'm only dealing with you because he a rich ass. Thank you. Mindset to make that money. The money. money, 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 money. Right. I was under the influence of marijuana and alcohol, and I did it. He then had sexual intercourse with me, even though I did not have the capacity to consent. Actively developing throughout one's adolescence, and are therefore more susceptible to damage due to alcohol consumption. The hippocampus is a small part of your brain that processes and stores memories. Drinking excessive alcohol can affect one's ability to form new memories and hold on to new information. This is because alcohol can impair your brain's ability to transfer new learned information from your short-term to long-term memory. As a result, you may be able to remember what's happening in the moment during a night of drinking, but may find it hard to recall the events that occurred the night the following day. Alcohol can also affect your ability to form new explicit memories, which are memories of facts, such as names and phone numbers or events, like what you did last night we take that shot of vodka, one of the first parts of the brain the alcohol will affect is the frontal lobe, specifically the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that makes you you. I am right now. Very important part in chemical dependency. What we found out and we've done studies on people's uh, memory processes there uh, where the development happens and they found out that people kids who go drink heavily on a weekend, like on a Friday or Saturday night, get intoxicated while this thing is developing, they lose 10% of their memory permanently. Okay? So this is, the brain has developed. So if you were getting drunk, if you had an IQ of 180 now, and you were getting drunk when you were 14, 15 years old, just imagine what, how smart you'd be today, you know, with the, with the memory you have. These are, these are facts because the other pains, people can get toxic and lose their memory, right? Right? And then what happens is that you start forgetting things. This you remember, this you forget. This you remember, this you forget. <coughs> Depends upon your condition, your dehydration, how you feel, you know, your alertness, and everything else. So all of a sudden, you're not remembering things, and that's called fragmented memory. When I first met R. Kelly that night, I was very happy and excited because I was young and I was starstruck. Now, I put them clips in there because I wanted you guys to be aware of what she said. And my question is, you were in a club. You were in a club, an after party. How did you get in that after party? How did you get in that after party? Okay, so in that after party, you was drinking and whatever else you was doing. Okay, so Gloria, I'll... I, 
all lies told you to say that his goons gave you some drugs and some drinks. Okay, looking at your background, allegedly, you've probably been doing drinking and, and drugs almost all your life. Okay, so those are my opinions when I say that right there. But you say that you were on drugs, you were drinking. And so my, in my mind, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, if you were drinking, but you're, what, 42? You, um allegedly did this um interview what back in 2018 or something like that um you have a good damn memory after drinking and you said you were 16 you say you were 16 okay and i i'm i'm speaking on my experience like right now i can drink and i can sit here and drink with my my fiance and the next morning i'm like what the hell happened and, you know, and I'm, I'm saying stuff it's like, no, that didn't happen that way. You need to stop drinking because you don't remember shit. OK, so you had a lot of trauma in between them years. Also, you had a lot of trauma in your life. Right. The death of your son, um, you, you're being arrested back and forth, stealing and doing all this other stuff, trying to get out of Baltimore. Um, and then the death, you, you had your brother being shot your father being shot and then your son that is something that is mind-blowing so i find it funny for you to say you were 16 and that you can remember everything that happened in that room after being intoxicated and under the influence of drugs okay and to have a great memory like that after that it's kind of strange to me, but anywho, you said that you were 16, okay? You said that you were 16 years old, and if memory serves me right, you were born February the 27th, allegedly 1978, okay? So today, you will be 42. You allegedly had met Robert in 1996, you would have been 18 years of age, okay? So let me break out this com this damn calculator for the ones not understanding what I am trying to show you here. I will break out the calculator for you, and we'll do the math together. Okay, sister allegedly was born February the 27th, 1978. 1978 you guys okay and she said she claimed that she met robert at the concert in 1996 she said she was 16 years old okay mm, what that say now this is about to get a little nasty here okay this is about to get a little nasty, what I'm about to say, okay? And with me, my opinion, I hear these people, these these females, oh my God, I was forced, I was forced to um, do oral sex on him because he got power of money and fame. Then here... He grabbed me by my neck and beat me inside my head. He pulled a gun on me and he overpowered me and made me do oral sex with him. Okay? I I don't know. This is kind of sounding crazy to me. I was forced to suck the dingling, the penis, because his fame, money, and he got power. And I was forced to give him oral sex. It wasn't said. He grabbed me. He punched me. He overpowered me. I was afraid. And he pulled a gun on me. And he grabbed me by my head. And he forced his penis in my throat. And I gagged and I threw up. Okay? But I was Forced because he got plenty of money and I did oral sex. I did not gag. I did not shivel. I did not throw up. 
but I gave him head because he forced me to give him head because his fame and his name is R. Kelly. He got plenty of money. He got the power. He, he can get any woman he wants. So I was forced because he is famous and he is rich to suck his penis. He did not pull a gun to my head and didn't overpower me by beating the shit out of me and making me do oral sex. Hey, tell me, which one of your Baltimore friends put you on game to get money from Robert? Just, girl, just tell me. Tell me which, which, which one was it? Which one is it? I need to know which, which one of your Baltimore um, homies that's affiliated with this takedown decide to give you a little information so you can get a piece of the damn pie so you can get your ass out of Baltimore. Thank you for tuning in to Texas Black Diamond. Please like, share, and subscribe.